everyone. Welcome again to CVN's Trial Technique Spotlight. We're doing a series on damages. My name is Shane Reed. I'm a trial consultant. I've written several books on trial techniques. And I want to share with you today just a very creative argument that I found on CVN's vast library of trials regarding how to value the life of a person. Here we have a father who was assaulted and killed by city employees. The city has admitted liability. So the only question is damages at trial. And the question is, how much is this father's life worth to his daughters? The plaintiff's attorney, Arash Hamampur, does a wonderfully creative job of putting a metaphor and image for that value. I'm not going to spoil a surprise. Let's look at a snippet from the video and we'll talk about it. And then I've got another short clip I want to show you after that from this fantastic closing argument. There's a painting called the Mona Lisa, okay? And this is the most fam famous painting ever. And a lot of people, when they look at this painting, they're like, why is it famous? It's just of an ordinary woman. What makes it so beautiful? What makes it so spectacular? What, how has it captured everyone's attention? And the best way to describe it is it's the beauty and the imperfection. It's the beauty of humans. We've been focusing a lot about how awesome Jose Rubicalba was, and the defense has focused on some of the things that he wasn't awesome at. Well, that's the nature of being human. That is the beauty of being human. Not any of us are perfect. Whether it's art, whether it's humans, whatever it is, the beauty is in the imperfection. And for someone to go look at this painting, as some historians have done, and point out the following, she has thin and coarse hair. Okay, this is the most famous painting ever, and the Mona Lisa has thin and coarse hair. She's missing eyebrows. She has a growth on her eye. There's swelling of her hand. She has yellow skin. She has a receding hairline. She has a puffy neck. And the point is, is that it's all still beautiful. It's all still magical. And by the way, that painting is paint on canvas or whatever texture it is. Human beings, all of us with our imperfections, are infinitely more exquisite than any painting and have infinitely more value than any painting. Well, I guess there are a couple of things to learn. One is about the imperfection of Leonardo da Vinci and his painting of the Mona Lisa. But more importantly, I think what is so creative about this use of the Mona Lisa is the plaintiff's attorney's idea that what makes us human is our imperfections. The value is in our imperfections. And the reason that Arash Hamampur had to do this is that the plaintiff was a great father, but for a short period of his life, for about a year, the defense was arguing that he was a transient drug user. So there's a one-year period when the defense said, hey, he really wasn't so good a father, and that was a prediction of how he would be for the rest of his life. So the plaintiff's attorney had to deal with this idea of imperfection, and he turned it around and made this weakness into a strength by saying, hey, our strengths are in our imperfection, and that's what makes us so valuable as human beings. I want to show you another clip from the rebuttal that Arash Hamampur does. It's so fantastic. First, I'm going to show you the slide the defense attorney used to kind of show a timeline, which I think is a good idea. So nothing wrong with what the defense attorney did. But what I want to highlight is how good the plaintiff's attorney did in responding to that timeline. So let's first show you the clip of the slide of the defense attorney. I'll show you that to you now. I think this is a great slide the defense attorney used. And he's showing that the father was a great dad, but then also an absent dad. But what's really good is what the plaintiff's attorney, Arash Hamampur, does to counteract that theme. Watch what he does, and then we're going to talk about it.
So this is now the rebuttal argument of the plaintiff's attorney responding to this slide that was shown by defense counsel. So first of all, let's look at the real timeline. He's married dad from 96 to 2013. He's fun dad from 2013 to 2016. And let's be real, they're saying he's absent or bad dad for one year, from 2017 to 2018. And he's a dead dad from 2018 to 2055, and he's dead because of them. They're liable, they're responsible. That's the stipulation. And so you're here to come up with a dollar amount to represent 40 years of loss of this good man's love and unique love and imperfect love, but amazing love that he gave to these girls. And the defendant wants you to take a snapshot in time and sully this good man who's dead because of them and say that you can only use that time period. Does that make any sense? Do we just ignore a man or a human, their history? Is, are you defined by who you are at three o'clock in the morning? I think this slide that Arash Hamampur uses is so powerful from bad dad. And then what? He's a dead dad. It's so powerful and it just shows how much important and meaningful this man's life was other than the one year that the defense is focusing on. And he talks about the imperfect love. And do you see how he's speaking from his heart? He is really connecting with the jury. And by using this simple dead dad time frame on a slide, coupled with the Mona Lisa to show how humans and their imperfection make us so valuable is the reason he got such a large verdict. And the verdict in this case was over $33 million. Well, I hope you've liked this tip. Look at the trial below the link if you want to see more of the closing arguments. There are also a lot more trials in CVN's library. Sign up for my newsletter in the link below if you want more trial tips from thought leaders and myself twice a month. I hope to see you next time on CVN's Trial Technique Spotlight.